y'all. Firstly, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please get subscribed to my channel. It's High Tea and Happy Hour. I am a lifestyle influencer. I'm a major foodie. I'm an educated designer and in interior design, sustainable design, and interior architecture too. Um, but yeah, get subscribed to my channel. Um, secondly, please excuse my closet. I just unloaded everything into it from Miami or from Miami. Um, so my shoes are just thrown up there. You might see things out of place. Don't judge me. But today I am getting ready. I am being officially inducted um, as a board member for ASID, the American Society of Interior Design, PA East chapter. So I'm so excited that's happening tonight. Um, if you've been following my page and watched the finale of a series that I made called My Miscarriage Story, um, I mentioned that I was appointed, I was seeked out and appointed, which is like so amazing, as the communications director. So I'm in charge of everything communications having to do with the chapter, um, as far as like social media, you know, anybody who wants to get in touch with the chapter, they kind of, I'm a touch point first the face, the voice of the chapter right now. So that's really exciting. Um, so I did start in September because my appointment was kind of immediate, immediate, but I asked to push my start date back because of all of the things that happened in the summer. So it's like official, official after today, but I've been doing it for about a month now. But I'm getting ready for that, which it's... Um, it is a tour and like hors d'oeuvres little mini banquet at the Beth Shalom Synagogue in Elkins Park, PA. So we're going to do like a little, you know, hors d'oeuvres and drinks and kind of mingle network. And then we'll do the presentation and transition of the board, which is weird because since I started early, I'm like transitioning to myself. But officially, officially, it will it would be my incoming president who's transitioning to president now from communications director. But officially, 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 she's transitioning from president-elect right now since I started as communications director. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for tonight. So I decided to go with the all black number and I'll, I'll throw the video in here of me kind of getting dressed in my GRWM video for this outfit but this is the basis of this outfit and then I'm gonna go with these shoes Ugh. some cowboy cowgirl cream shoes low heel low maintenance and then this blazer that I got from Zara not so long ago I love my Zara blazers like they're just my life my life my life my life and then now i'm kind of just putting the finishing touches like earrings i'm just gonna wear some gold hoops which are my favorite i also have to throw something on my nails really fast i think that i might just go with like a a nice clear polish really fast so i'm not like going crazy with waiting for it to dry and stuff like that um some deodorant on but yeah i'm so excited i use native by the way i stress maurice out about how much i spend on deodorant um yeah i'm excited to like officially be in this position and i'm excited for this event tonight i love a good happy hour mixer with hors d'oeuvres and wine and drinks and yeah i'm just i'm really looking forward to that and of course taking this tour so the beth shalom synagogue is a frank lloyd wright structure design and if you don't know who frank lloyd wright is he's a very famous architect from the u.s or might be from canada i don't remember but frank lloyd frank lloyd wright is a really big name in architecture and his one of his structures is in elkins park it's a synagogue and we're, we're going to go tour that it has this beautiful ceiling like this beautiful a multi-glass ceiling multi-colored glass ceiling um so i'm excited about that um 
but yeah so i'm i'm needing to choose between my purses i'm gonna show you some options okay so i thought i got my i got my zara business blazer got my cream heels i can go with a brown bag right i mean that's quick and easy to the point it definitely matches um but i don't know if i want to go brown because this is kind of like a fun event and the fun thing about it is like the flyers all have like these multi colors or all, all of these different colors to represent like the stained glass so i kind of want to come in with a little bit of color just not flat so this is my second option which is still kind of flat but it does add some more coloring right so i can go with the telly which is green cream shoes blazer which it still matches right but i don't know if i want to go this flat even still so then i thought about my big red now i also have a telly in blue but sometimes i feel like the blues give off a different energy and it's not the energy that i carry of often a blue is like my chill i'm on a run in the streets type of bag anyway Here's my red telly. So, of course, this matches. Gorgeous, beautiful, will match with the boots too, right? Do I want to carry this big ass bag around this fucking happy hour? I don't. The answer is I don't. So, I mean, if it was anything else, if I knew that, like, if it was like a conference, I knew I had like a good dedicated seat, I would bring the big telly. But I'm really not too familiar with the setup of this event. So, I'm going to pass on the big telly. So that brings me to my last option. Now let me know in the comments what y'all thought about these options. But I got my multi-colored Kurt Geiger purse. And you know, I love this because it has like the same colors as the stained ceiling. Like that glass stained ceiling. It's like the same thing. So it's like right on theme right on target it still matches like it adds a little flair to the outfit cowboy boots i mean the cowgirl boots make it fun but this like adds that pop of color it still goes i'm an eclectic dresser people will understand so i think that's what i'm gonna go with what do y'all think cute little color a pop um I definitely think I need to add in like a little safety pin to make sure that this is not like giving people. Oh, Jesus. I got to make sure I'm not giving people a little, sh a little too much of a show. I like a show, but in a corporate environment, you got to play it a little safe. So I am going to throw a bobby pin in. I think I'm going to file my nails down, put some clear polish, polish on it to make it simple. Um, I'm like almost out of all of my fragrances like i just have like this like cheapy mix bar fragrance i grabbed from target one day i was like i need something really fast let me go get it so using this mix bar but the reason why i love it it smells really like warm and tropical it's a coconut palm scent it smells really warm and tropical it's like laid back and that's what i love about it also on my lips i'm wearing my chanel lipstick um what shade is this rouge allure kept the makeup really simple i mean i'm not a big makeup girl like i don't know about all of it i know enough to get me by i know enough to cover up some blemishes and some dark eyes and that's it like i'm not an extraordinaire at all like I, it gets me by I, i'm like definitely like cute wedding guest level makeup artist like i'm not a let's do something fun today like no like baby you're probably gonna get a little blush of course my foundation and concealer lipstick eyeliner maybe eyeshadow you know like it just really depends and then i'm gonna keep it pushing like it's not gonna be that dramatic so this is all i really did my makeup of course i use my fenty highlighter to bring some razzle dazzle um i'm also thinking maybe i should wear a necklace huh i think a, i think a necklace would be appropriate tonight let's look into my bag so i threw a necklace in one of my travel bags when i was in miami I see throwing shit places. Like it's no 
This is how I lose stuff, and I definitely probably lost the necklace because I was fucking through it. No necklace. At least not the necklace that I want to wear. So, here's outfit, laser, got my shoes on. Got these boardies. Jeffrey Campbell. I love Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Love Jeffrey Campbell. He gets me by fashionably. And these heels are like super comfy. I'm kind of thinking I should put on some numbing cream on my feet because that's the way to go in life when I'm wearing any type of heel. Where's the numbing cream? And you know what? I wanted to show you guys because that my cream is so fucking instant and it feels so good and it does the trick every single fucking time. I leave my nummy cream in Miami. Definitely left my nummy cream in Miami and I'm sad about it. Alright, whatever. That numbing cream like works fucking numbers. Like it was like God sent. God sent. She's on. I'm a bit taller. And so this is it, of course, without the safety pin. This is just if I was just j it to this corporate event. This is like, love me, love myself always. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really still stuck on my number clean fucking disappearing. Fuck! All right, so now it's time to pack up this bag. Make sure that I have my lipstick. Make sure that I have my ID. And I think my ID is actually in this bag. I'm like falling apart because I don't know where anything is. Like, where the hell is my freaking. Also, pretty stressed because. Layla joined this group, which I was like, <gasps> I found it. I legit stuck my hand into the cavity of this bag, into this specific cavity four times. Anyway, here is it. And I'm just going to like legit just put it, because like my, stock, my stockings have holes. You see that it's like perforated? Right, and you can just design this term, but I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of my feet. I see how this is like my endorsement because, like, this saves my life, my life, or my feet at least. Like, I wore heels at that conference Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days in a row. I put this on my feet. Not only did the pain from the previous day go away, but it like made it much more bearable to wear heels at that current moment. So yes, yes, this is my advice to anybody who wears heels and does not want to feel like they're in hell. I'm actually like now waiting for Layla to get home because Layla joined this group called Girls Something. I did not know she joined and I don't know if her dad signed off on it, but they like took them on some type of trip out the building. So when Reese got there to pick her up, she wasn't there. And he just texted me. I was supposed to leave at 5. It's now like 5.15. He's texting me like, oh, they just got here. So I'm definitely going to be late because I was supposed to be there by 5.45. Like, usually I'm casually late for sure. But um, I definitely needed to be on time today because we had to vote on something that was kind of sensitive. So, yeah. I'm going to just cross my fingers hope they're here really quickly get my nails cleaned up um and then head out and i'll show you all little snippets of the event and where i'm at and such
person there literally we were two of two black people in attendance tonight yeah isn't that wild it's amazing it's yeah. a different it's a different feeling i don't know if it's necessarily a good one but it's a good feeling because you, you get to open doors for somebody else you're right you become a trailblazer Phones gonna keep cutting off because the podcast is on. I'll play turn it off. But the moral of the story is it was a good night, and thank you, baby, for your kind words. No problem. Is it? Was it? Hey, y'all. So I'm back in the house from my event from being officially inducted to the ASIDPA East Board as the communications director. So happy I'm back in the house. We got Layla, she's in bed now. Um, it is a Thursday night, so she does have to get up early tomorrow morning. Reese has a playoff game tonight. His basketball team plays um, Thursday nights, pretty late. So his game isn't until 10 o'clock, so, well, it's like 10 o'clock now. But the playoff game, so it's a very important game. So it's so a one and done. They don't win tonight, it's over, but I know they'll win because he's an amazing leader and he can get it done. Also, please don't mind my bed. Also, please don't mind how boring my freaking room is. Like, I have not touched or designed this room yet. So, please give me grace and I'm looking at my background because I haven't done anything. What you'll come to find is that designers houses aren't always a magazine spread. They usually are the last to be touched and because we're always designing for everybody else. So anyway, that was my long spiel about why the back of me is so blank and boring. And also my bed is elevated because I have a, you know, what's it called? One of those beds that come up, come up and down. And also this, the footrest comes up and down. So it's kind of like a cute little sandwich situation um if you want it to be anyway it was a great event i'm looking forward to being on this board this year we have a lot of great events going on and planned um one of which is coming up our interior design awards which is the largest in the area um where we honor and you know highlight designers in the area and we have this big giant like formal banquet and it's crazy um but the what is it called the kickoff and info session is this month so i have that in a couple weeks and of course all the other things that are coming up um that i'll be in charge of really delivering information and social posts and things for so i'm excited about that and everybody is just like so welcoming and just really respect me and my abilities and what they feel like I can do based off of they, what they've seen already of me from my social posts and 
just who I am as a designer. People are just so nice, like just walking up to me and saying things like, you know, we're so lucky to have you. I was able to read your bio and see some of your work and you know, you're such an amazing addition to the board and all of these great, sweet and nice things. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being on the board and, you know, executing all the things that are going to happen. The Beth Shalom Synagogue, which I said earlier, was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, was nice. Um, nice, short to the point tour. Got some hors d'oeuvres. We came, to, we came at the very end of the hors d'oeuvres and uh, cocktails because Layla, um, Layla joined a cross country team which is just she's just such a well-rounded kid but she joined her own and they had their first practice today um away from the school so that's why maurice wasn't able to bring her directly home because he had to wait for her to get back to the school in order to take her home um but she's on cross country and then she also got a part on the Wizard of Oz play and musical at her school. She's playing the Scarecrow, which is a pretty big role. I'm just like so proud of her. Like she was so happy. Um, yes, yeah, it's just a big, a big win, especially because like when she was a little younger, it was looking like she was gonna be really shy, like take a long time to open up. But then I wanna say the year before last, she went for a role in the Matilda play at her school. And that was like very like surprising for us. Cause we're like, you sure? Like, and she got up there and she shined. And Layla is such a performer in the house. Like she's just such a great performer. But sometimes, or it used to be this way when she would get in front of people, she would kind of like shut down, become a little shy. But now that girl be getting it. And I'm just like so proud of her. Like she's flourishing. She's flourishing off of my very eyes. But she's like, I can't even tell you how proud of her I am. Like, she's just such an amazing kid. Like, I don't have any complaints about my kid. Like, she's a kid. Like, kids are messy and kids can be all of these things. But my kid has, has so many great qualities that I am more than blessed that, you know, she is who she is. But, um,. Talk about that before I cry, but yeah, got there at the end of cocktail hour. Um, I did still get me a cup of wine. I ran, I ran, I made a mad dash to where the cocktails were. I was like, I have five minutes left. Anyway, I don't even give a fuck about any of this food. Like, I think I had like one. Like hors d'oeuvres. I don't even remember what it was. I remember it being stale because I think they had them out for a while. The person was walking around with it, but it just, it just, it wasn't right. So I was disappointed, but nonetheless, I got my wine and we went to um, another room where we had the, I guess, annual meeting, just kind of recapping the year and statistics about membership. And then we did the transition, the board transition. And then they handed out awards to sponsors and designers that are doing excellent things. And then we took a tour. Um, and then me and Reese bounced because Reese had this game, but it was a it was a really good night. I can't complain. I can't complain. Except for almost missing all of it, but what can you do? When your child is involved, I mean, like, all I can do is be really grateful and happy that she's involved. And, and, you know, I was able to make the meeting and the annual meeting and be transitioned and be in the building, be in the place to be. Um, but, yeah, I had a good night. And I look forward to tomorrow, which me and Reese are going to have a day date. So we've been trying to plan this for a while. Um, to go to this restaurant called K-Pod in Philly. I've actually been there before with um, one of my sisters. Um, but I'm looking forward to going with Maurice. It's such a vibe. So we're going to go for lunch. Because um, me and him have kind of... We don't have light days, but we're making them. We're making the light day, I should say. Because we have more than enough things we should be working on. And could be doing, but 
we're very intentional about our time and making sure that we're in each other's space at a certain amount of time throughout the week if we can control it. Um, so we're gonna go to K-Pod. Um, I do have to get up early in the morning to make a cheesecake because for our basketball team, we're having a staff get together tomorrow night at our communications director for the basketball team's house. Um, so she's gonna be making some nice Spanish food because she's Spanish. So we're gonna be having rice and beans and pork and all of that good stuff. I can't wait. Um, and I'm gonna bring a cheesecake cheesecake and I think that's it. I might bring a bottle of wine too because it's just polite. Um, so I have to make that in the morning, allow that to cool and do its do. Um, and then we'll go to lunch and then we'll be heading to our communication director's house around like 5.36-ish. But yeah, that's all I really have planned besides that and this weekend first basketball practice and then just continuing to plan I sent out the invitations it's September 29th today which if you don't know 29th is always going to be my favorite day of every month because I'm born on the 29th of December the last month of the year the best month of the year on the best day of the year so I'm so excited about that I don't know why I just said that but anyway oh, I was saying that today is the 29th of September and my hour Halloween happy hour is planned for October 29th. So I was able to get those invitations out a month before, which is a fucking win. That is such a big win for me. Like I have some I even order a piece of decor that I know that probably would take a little longer today to get it out the way to make sure i'm prepared like i feel so freaking proud of myself like this happy hour if you thought that some of the happy hours i had before were thoughtful this halloween happy hour which is called blood is thicker it's called the blood is thicker happy hour and this theme Like, I'm, I'm just trying to become the house party queen, the house curation queen, the home curation queen, period. That's from decor, that's from event planning, that's just from, you know, just having peace in your home. Like, I just want to be that. So, I'm looking forward to putting together that vibe. But I sent out the invitations today, so we're in motion and the planning and everything else. I got a good re response rate from my guest and I'm gonna move forward from there. I don't think I have anything else going on this weekend, but I'll catch up with y'all before anything else happens anyway, because I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow because I'll take y'all with me to K-Pod tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to now edit some YouTube videos and edit some content and sit back and watch the second season of this fashion show. It's on HBO, which I love. It has Offset like streetwear i believe but i'm gonna catch up on that and i'll see y'all later please like and subscribe to my channel please like and subscribe to my channel please stay up to date with me i am a lifestyle influencer a foodie and an educated designer in interior design sustainable design and interior architecture and i do dibble dabble and a lot of other things so please connect with me because you never know what i know you never know what i know but I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to work and get some rest. See you later. In the past, you're gonna sleep through the future. Yo, the hype is back. I'm Stevie Wonder, and we're bringing you the most promising future designers.